Yeah, Jeff Hardy was uh, founded in 1992 uh, to address the current environmental uh, degradation. He realized that the only way to succeed is to enhance a wider community membership, a community um, participation at a um, uh, local level. We join forces with the local community to uh, introduce the community forestry scheme in partnership with uh, the then government forestry project. Because environment has no boundary. If you help Mr. X in country X, you're helping yourself. If Mr. X is affected here as a, uh, as a result of environmental degradation, um, Mr. Y will also experience in another form of environmental uh, degradation. We have been seeing uh, 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 natural calamity is happening everywhere. Disaster, flooding, it can be hot weather, you know, the wildfire is happening everywhere. So everyone is, each and every one of us, of our responsibility. So this is Ross Wood, is one of endangered species in the Gambia. You can get a lot of money out of this, and it can be exported to China. And the China, the Chinese, the companies, they normally make it for furniture, and then they sell those furniture back to Africa or other, any other country. So the furniture, this um, rose wood is very good for timber. It's very good for firewood as well. So it's one of the endangered species. You have the, the sister type that is iron wood, which is um, even more endangered. So we nearly finished those, they, they, uh, that have nearly become extinct here. This is iron wood, the sister type of rose wood, this is iron wood. We have only a few of them. It's also good for fencing poles as well as furniture. It, it could last hundreds of years. You can, you can make it as a fencing pole, pole for your orchard or gardens or something like that. You know the big tree over there? Because of that bush, bush fire. You see, if you can see the, the black, I think it was that, that big tree was there, it was born. You see, you can see that the black. This one, you see, is um, it's also medicinal. You see the, the herbalists, they collect the roots. They said it cures uh, ulcer. It's called camel foot, but in Mandinka it's fara. Very traditional. It's, in fact, it's also medicinal. So when you get the outer layer inside, it remains the inner layer comes out red, as you can see it. Um, it cures ma malaria, so it's also medicinal. It's nice and also medicinal. It's, it's called lacus bean. It cures stomach ache, it cures ulcer as well, according to the herbalist. So you, you pound it. You dry it. When it is dried, you pound it to powder, and then uh, you put it in, in into the water. You stir it, and then you drink it. So uh, as long as we are here, we allow them to collect them um, sustainably. So uh, we exercise sustainable use practice. We enhance sustainable use practice, so so that it will um, <laughs> remain for the next generation. Yeah. The illegal hunters will come and chase the, the, the antelopes. Or even uh, between 10 and 9 in the morning, they come and chase them. So these are the, the antelopes uh, um, trail all the way in there uh, to, the, to the lagoon. So even if you go by the lagoon, you, you'll see that there are, there are footprints there. Um, we normally do tree planting. Uh, annual tree planting exercises, beach sweeping, mangrove regeneration, community outreach sensitization programs, radio programs, local radio programs, and um, many other activities. As you can see in our website, you find a lot of things. Uh, we, we, all what we do is in the, in the social media. You normally stay with, uh, with, 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 with family which is another uh, benefit of it because you experience our Gambian culture. You live, with, you stay with the families and then you learn uh, their culture, 
the type of food they eat, the, you, the, uh, you, you cook with them as well. So that's another added value to volunteering, uh, uh, for volunteering with us. The Gambia is a popular tourist destination. But if we don't mind, that will decline. Because when we lose all our forest cover, where the birds are going to go? Are we going to do bird watching at home, in our houses? <laughs> no. So it's very important to actually protect this, uh, the remaining biodiversity, the remaining ecosystem, to ensure the ecosystem remain in place. So um, if we don't do that, most of the tourists will go to the neighboring countries. When the tourists need sunlight, they need um, people, people and culture. They want to see people and culture. And all, of course, unfortunately, even that culture is under threat. We need to uh, take care of our culture, take care of the remaining biodiversity. And so the, the remaining ecosystem remains in place. It will enhance employment opportunity. It will enhance sustainable income for the local inhabitants. And of course, it will enhance peace and stability. So this is a good advice, a strong advice from Gunjur Environmental Protection and Development Group. Um, for further details, then uh, you can always click onto our website at www.jpad.com. And, and then that's it. I thank you very much.